Thank you. I'm finally at the airport and I'm chilling. Right now, I'm sipping on an Americano. I am really early to the airport. Uh, my flight doesn't take off until 12.46 in the morning, but the time is uh what is it uh a 1 41 i'm really early but i had to drop off my van uh get that in storage get all that situated and then the uber guy took me here to the airport and he was really cool i loved uh, i love talking to the uber drivers a lot i've been very fortunate to have some good drivers and very just we were able to have good conversation but right now i'm just gonna sip on my coffee i'm gonna relax a little bit more I'm finally on the plane. I have been at the airport all day. Um, I got a window seat, as you can see. Um, I love having a window seat, but it's nighttime. I wasn't thinking when I purchased the window seat that I probably won't be able to see outside. <sighs> if I had a brain, I would have got the aisle seat because it's nighttime, but it's all good. Hopefully I'll be able to see something. But anyways, I have to go to the bathroom. So this should be very, very interesting once the plane takes off. This airport is busy for it being almost 7 in the morning, but you can see how that is. I'm currently on my way to go get my bags and then go from there. Now I'm on my way to pick up my home, so let's go find it. The numbers are in the parking spaces. There's 225, 227, 229, and so forth. This is our car while we're here in Tennessee. And the windows are tinted, so at night, what? What? That is it. It's a Hyundai and I'll take it. Just enough space for me. All right, let's get in it. Wow, what? 
Oh, and those seats lay down too. We're good. <laughs> we are home. <laughs> what, y'all thought I was getting a hotel? No, let me tell y'all something. If the weather permits, if I can do it, I'm getting a vehicle. I am so freaking tired. I am in Tennessee. Tennessee, Nashville, Memphis, those areas are the places I've always, always wanted to go, but never wanted to do van life in. Uh, I feel like doing car life or SUV life in Tennessee is more my speed, my jam. Um, I do not, and I do not plan on um, getting a hotel in any in any state or city that I decide to visit where the weather conditions allow me to do car life or SUV life. Hence why I'm in Tennessee. Yes, it's a little cold here in Tennessee. Current temperature is 32 degrees. Um, it's going to warm up today, but at night, for the next couple nights, it's going to be in the 30s. Um, it's going to be really cold. It's going to be a challenge for me, but I'm going to get through it. I do have this very stealth vehicle. It is very, very quiet when it runs. You don't even know it's on. I can have all the lights off. If it gets too cold, I can turn it on, get some heat in here. I do have a fleece and cold weather uh, clothing, so I'm not too worried about that. But Tennessee was definitely on my list of states to come visit, specifically Nashville and Memphis. You know, Nashville, the music uh, city of the world. I am super stoked about going to explore Nashville. I am here in Memphis at a breakfast spot that a Tennessee native told me to come try. It's called Loveless Cafe. I'm going to run in and grab a to-go plate. It's been a long day of travel, but I am going to have breakfast and uh, try a lot of the local foods. Uh, that is one thing I have been lacking um, in all of my travels because I do love to cook, but I am missing out on trying local foods. And Tennessee is known for their food. So you already know I'm about to try everything I can get my hands on. Um, so SUV life. I am super happy about it i feel like uh i'll be able to stealth camp for real for real and not have to worry so much about where i'm gonna sleep but the windows are tinted at least the back two are tinted i am gonna get a front cover something really really cheap oh i'm so i have not slept in almost 24 hours i think it's been 20 no it's been oh, a little over 24 hours but i am so happy uh, also too, I've said this in previous videos. I said this in my last video. I do not plan on going out the country this year. I'm not leaving the United States this year. I'm leaving the United States next year. This year is a test run, a dry run for how living out of a backpack goes, whether I'm living out of a backpack in a car, SUV, or a van or living out of a backpack. When I say van, I mean minivan, not my, not my vehicle or living out of a backpack in a hotel. I want to make sure I get all the kinks out and I won't know that until tonight. I won't know that until I start living and travel, you know, exploring Tennessee and sleeping in this uh, SUV, what I'm missing or what I brought too much of. That's the whole purpose of me traveling the United States this year via plane um, or train or however I decide to travel so that I am better prepared for travel overseas either by plane or when I get overseas I decide to hop on a train and hop from country to country because you could do that in Europe it's so simple uh, my best friend did it so I am so happy it's definitely a new exhilarating feeling and I hope you guys will enjoy hanging out with me and sleeping in this <laughs> SUV I mean look at us moving up it is no secret I want a second vehicle. I do not plan on getting a second vehicle this year, although in the future I will be getting a second vehicle. And so doing 
um, these, you know, backpack series where I travel via backpack and rent vehicles, I will be able to see what is suitable for, suitable for me, what I would like to rent, what I would like to not rent, what I would like to purchase. So every time I decide to travel via backpack, I will be getting a different vehicle so that I can see what it's like. So that when I do go to purchase my second vehicle, I'll have an idea of what I want. So it's not only a, a test run and a dry run for, for overseas backpack travel, but it's a test run and a dry run for whatever vehicle I potentially might want to get in the future when I do decide to buy my second vehicle. All right, let's go in and see what this Loveless Cafe breakfast is all about. Loveless Cafe. I ordered the chicken and waffles. This is what it looks like. I guess something kind of burnt through it. But you get this piece of chicken right here. A waffle, some syrup, and then it comes with butter. So let me fix it up and then give it a try and see how it tastes. Fam, I dropped my chicken on the ground. I want to cry. I was taking it out of here and it fell on this carpet. You see it right there. I want to cry. I don't even get to try the chicken. I'm not eating it off of that, that floor. You know, telling what shoes have been on it. I went to the bathroom, washed my hands, stepped all over that floor. Dang it. It's okay. It's only day one. But here's the syrup. I'm just going to eat the waffle. I'm just thankful the whole thing didn't fall. I put the chicken up top, trying to fix it, and it just... Oh, I can't. Okay, we're just going to try the waffle. This is what the waffle's looking like, minus the chicken. How do you drop the chicken to the chicken and waffles? I guess that just leaves more room, because this is all I was going to try today, because this is just a lot of food. But since I, don't, I can't try the chicken, because, yeah, I dropped it, and I know I've said it a thousand times, but this is how I process not wanting to cry. I need to clean the floor up too. We're just gonna try the waffle fam. First day in Nashville, Tennessee and chicken and waffles is just now waffle. First bite goes to you. Have that bite right there. My turn. I've never had a waffle like this. At first, I was a little, like, not upset, but I was just like, why is the waffle not crispy? Because the waffle is very soft. It's soft like a pancake. And yes, I added butter, but the batter, when I, when you, when I bit into the waffle and I, and I tasted the waffle, the batter, it is so good. And the waffle just melts in your mouth. It's super soft. I thought I would never like a soft waffle, but no way. This is super, super good. Mmm. The syrup tastes homemade. It doesn't taste like store-bought. This syrup is fire. It's 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 not too sweet. It's 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 right in the middle. Mmm. Dang, I wish I didn't drop that chicken. Mm -hmm. That, this is good. This waffle is fantastic. This is probably the best waffle I've ever had in my life. I'm not even lying. This is a homemade, homemade batter waffle. You can just tell. Mmm. 
Mm. It's got the consistency of a really good pancake. But the flavor... It also came with... Um, I think these are biscuits. And um, looks like some kind of jelly. Let's give that a try. What kind of jelly is this? Apricot? It smells like apricot. Oh, look at that jelly. Oops. Ooh, that's nice. That's apricot. And this is a biscuit, and that biscuit smells, you could just smell the butter. I mean, that biscuit's soft, too. Look how soft that is. Let's give it a try. First bite goes to you. First of all, the biscuit is phenomenal. It's absolutely phenomenal. Mm -hmm. The top has a nice crust, crisp, but the body of the biscuit is very, very soft. And this apricot jam At first, I thought it was too sweet, but the more I eat it, it's not that sweet. It's very subtle. It's like, it's just right. Mmm. I've never had apricot jam. Mmm. Even though I dropped the chicken, <laughs> would I say that five times already? Let me process it. Just let me process it. I'm still trying to process it. <laughs> could cry. <sighs> okay, my tantrum is over. I recommend it. I can't recommend the chicken. I haven't tried it, but that waffle and that that waffle and that that um, syrup, everything is. That waffle is so 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 flavorful. Usually, when I have taste a waffle. You can tell the waffle there's no flavor. The only flavor to the waffle is like the butter and the syrup. Oh, and those biscuits are really nice. And fam, I'm going to put a stop to it right now. Don't tell me. No me. Two second rule. No. We are not eating that. I walked my boots all over the dirty bathroom floor outside and then I came inside this vet, this car sat down with my dirty shoes and that chicken fell right where my boots were stomping all over. So, no. We not doing no two second rule. And don't come at me with God made dirt and dirt don't hurt. I'm not eating it. <laughs> I'm not eating it. I'm currently at Advanced Auto Parts. Uh, I am going to be looking for a front windshield cover. I did call them because I had just left, uh, where did I leave? Oh, <laughs> brain fog. I don't have, uh, was it Ace Hardware? I, le I just left Ace and they don't have any windshield covers. But I called them and they said they do. I need one. I don't care about these side windows because I'm going to be sleeping in the back. I just want some for the front. Down my, <clears throat> excuse me, try to lay those seats down and see, you know, if I can. They look like they can. And then get back there. <sighs> Let's go get this front wheel. Ooh, what am I speaking? What kind of language is that? <laughs> Let's go get this front windshield cover. I need to find a cheap one because I don't want to spend a lot of money. It's got to be cheap, and I don't even know which one would fit a Hyundai Sonata, but I'm about to, or Santa Fe. But I'm about to ask. 
I think the cheapest one is like 15 bucks. He talk, he's like, yeah, we got a lot of them here. Where? Somebody stole this one. Ain't nothing in that. Now he's letting me try it before I even buy it. All right, let's give it a try. Ugh. I mean, it's not perfect, but this is literally the only one they have, so it's gonna have to do. There's a lever on the side that enables you to lay the seats down. Uh, like, you know how you sit in your front seat and there's a lever. So you just, I'll show you with this side. You grab this lever right here and it lays flat. But honestly, I'm so short that I don't even need to lay this flat, but we're gonna do it anyways just to um, see what it's looking like if, when I lay it completely down. So this is what it's looking like. I can lay in the back, uh, undetected, stretch out my whole body. This is crazy. Like, hey, welcome to my crib, MTB Cribs in the house. What's up, you know? What, 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 <laughs> what is up? This is a Hyundai Santa Fe. I don't know the model, maybe a 2021 or a 2022, I'm not sure. It's only a little over 3,000 miles on it. This is definitely going on on my list. I could easily, and there's a 12 volt uh, cigarette lighter back here. So you can plug stuff in. This is super cool. I mean, look at all that space. For context, guys, I am five foot one, five one, 61 inches. And I can lay flat and still have enough room. This would be a perfect uh, stealth camping vi uh, vehicle for those of you who consider doing it. You don't always have to get a van. You can invest in something like this. You got the 12 volt cigarette lighter right there. You got all this space to work with. Uh, it's perfect. You got a light back there, right over that back window. And then there is the window cover that I bought at Advanced Auto Parts. I mean, it's decent, but those aren't covered and those aren't. But at nighttime, with the tent in the back and then this covered, I'm not gonna have a problem with this because I'm gonna be in the back anyways. So I'm not too worried, but that's the current setup. And then I got my stuff all right here. All right, fam, I'm gonna go ahead and end the video here. Uh, I bought this book at the airport. I'm gonna try to read this within one to two days. I'm gonna hop back there and chill. It's enough room for me to relax and lay back. I got everything set up. Got my living space set up uh, while I'm here in Tennessee. I'm super excited uh, to start exploring, but not today. Uh, it's been a, lo <laughs> a long day of just getting situated and getting everything together so i'm pretty situated i'm i'm ready to go for tomorrow but i appreciate you guys hanging out with me i hope you guys enjoy today's video and just what it's like uh being a nomad a traveling nomad uh it's it's a lot that airport really drains drains you <laughs> but nonetheless i'm very blessed and grateful that i made it to tennessee safely uh thanks so much for hanging out with me and keeping me company it means the world to me and like i always say and i'm going to continue to say this i have the best community on youtube you guys rock but i'm out thanks for watching and as always i will see you guys in my next video take care peace